you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, four losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Merced Beckett! All right, good thing it is in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out fighting. You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're in danger the entire time. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. And they are exchanging leather early. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his chin into his opponent. Oh. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. 
He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Close guard. And now he's in a guillotine. Watch guillotine. He might get a finish here. Wow. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat. Chest and he's out. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. All right, single collar tie now. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. What a fantastic wrestler. Great All right, so a near perfect entry there. And finally, he gets his first takedown of the fight. And they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down. There. Persistence. Hayes. And that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got suspended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? And they both stand up. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Beckton. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Take down a template and it's good. Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful. Watch the legs going up around. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, round two. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Countering with the jab here, but he saw it coming a mile away. Nice job there to block it by Mursad Beckett. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Lee. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. 
So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips. And because of that, he's been safe. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Effective strike there by Beckton. And he continues to work the body here. He's looking to land the right just out of range. the takedown, no problem. And they separate. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Bektik gets caught with that punch. He blocks the punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself oh. in the fight. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. That would land clean. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Beckton. Straight punch lands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well if he drops a big right hand after him, he may be able to finish his bite. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! An uppercut later! Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Oh! Time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Leg kick. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Wow! The fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. 
All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. They continue to exchange. Oh! Oh, he's hurt back. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's gonna enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after 